FNAF X Reader, Chapter 1. It was your first time in 380 Fazbear's Pizza, and you were quite surprised about the place. Your little brother, Andrew, loves going to that place and just literally dragged you all the way there if you declined his permission to go. You have no choice but to go there since your mother will give you the glare if you let your brother go there by himself. You found an empty seat for you and your brother. A waiter came to take your order. May I take your order? The waiter asked. Um, Andrew, what do you like to have? You asked your brother. Your brother jumped up out of his seat and stood in front of the waiter. I want a regular pizza, he said. Make that too, you said. The waiter wrote down the order as Andrew watches him. He turned around and left. Waiters, these days just don't usually smile anymore. You thought in your head. Kids, Freddy and his friends are about to start their performance. Make sure you watch. The speaker said, Every kid ran in front of the show stage, including Andrew. They were all shouting with excitement. That made you cover your ears. As the curtains had been occupied, the bear in front greeted everyone. Then it signaled the other animatronics and started playing songs. I don't get why the children love watching these guys perform. They're just singing robots. You went next to Andrew. He turned his head to look up at you with his eyes filled with amazement. Sister, he called to you. Let's go here every day, he said in a weird way, which made you feel uncomfortable because, hey, who would want to get their eardrums blown out because children shouting? Who would want to get their bag filled with pain because of looking after their brothers or sisters just to make sure they're safe? I might die, you thought. After the performance, you went back to your seats. There were two pizzas on top of your table, and it looked like they were put here after the performance. Andrew took a slice, and so did you. Sister, let's do this every day, Andrew said again as he sat down. Um, how about once a week, you said. No, I want to go here every day. He took a bite of his pizza. I want to, I want to, I want. He was now acting very spoiled that he is starting to get on your nerves. All right, just keep your mouth shut. After hearing that, he quickly behaved himself. You stood up and went to the, comf- to the comfort room. After going out, you noticed a help wanted poster. A night shift guard, huh? This seems all right. It's better than day shift. I don't want to hear them screaming kids all over the place. When you're staring at the poster, you felt someone watching you, so you quickly turned around. No one was there except for a brick wall. You felt strange, but decided to take the job anyways. Someone was watching me, but no one was there. (sighs) That's a little strange, don't you think? Alright guys, if you enjoyed the story so far, this is one by Flay Chun. There on Wattpad, this is their little story link. Um, I haven't got a reply quite yet, but it's a good story. Y'all have a great day.